Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the official start of the FM23 save here with Scarborough Athletic. Now, as the game's loading, I'd just like to point out what the premise of this save will be. Now, I realise that at the, the moment in time, the game is not out. We are currently on the beta, but the reason I've left it as late as I have is that the beat, uh, the game is out tomorrow so effectively I can add the uh, in-game editor straight into the save pretty much as soon or pretty much soon after we start the save now please be aware that this is an unedited database this is in by default, Scarborough Athletic, for the first time in a long time, are in the game by default. Um, now, as you can see, uh, we have started the season pretty well. They're actually up in fourth in real life as well. So we're actually in exactly the position that they're currently in, in real life. Uh, and there are a few things I would like to point out uh, first of all. Now, there are a few new bits to Football Manager 23 for those that haven't seen it before. Now, firstly, let's go over what's new. One of the new features is the so-called Squad Planner here. Now, I've just brought that up for the first time. And what this is, is give it's a planner, as it says, to give you an idea of your best players in each position. Um, currently at the club, and also if you've got any more uh, players that are due to come through in the next couple of seasons, uh, that can replace the players in the current role, or whether you need to invest in the squad to find better talent. Now, as you can see here, in our case, we've got a 28-year-old killkeeper called Joe Cracknell, um, who's actually at the club in real life, uh, joined, I think, last season. He wasn't there in... Sorry, at the end of last season. He wasn't there in 22, but he is there now. And he, and he came in from... Let me just have a look at his profile. Where's he coming from? He's coming from... Uh, uh, come on, give me his... Uh, uh, sorry. Give me his uh, career stats, please. He's coming from Harrogate uh, this season. So, obviously moved down... North Yorkshire coastline to Scarborough. Uh, we also have Hen Henry Kendrick, who's a young keeper, who we brought in because he wasn't here to start with, but we brought him in from Barnsley um, as we were looking for an improvement to Joe Cracknell, to be honest, because even though he looks good, he's actually not. So uh, we could do with an improvement. Matt Bancroft was already here at the club. He he came in last season. In fact, at the beginning of the 21-22 season from Birmingham Town after starting starting his career at Darlington. Um, and we've got Sam French, who I also brought in. So I brought two keepers in. Uh, from uh, Sam French came in from. Uh, West Brom and is the best of the keepers so far so much so he started the last seven games and has performed well uh, when he's been called upon so you can see that, that the position uh, the goalkeeping position is pretty strong at the moment uh, we then follow it with left back we've got two left backs at the moment one is Kieran Burton who's uh, trained in the nation at the club and is a youth prospect and another one is Ashley Jackson 
At centre back, we have four possible options there. The always reliable Bailey Gunner in terms of Scarborough Athletic. We also have Zayn Mohammed, who I brought in from uh, Accrington at the uh, mid juncture of the season. Uh, that's at centre back, so we don't need to check that because the DCR will be the same. At full back, we've got uh, James Cadman, and also Zayn Mohammed can also play there as well. Uh, in midfield, we've got uh, six options Hassan Ayari, who's come in on loan uh, from Sheffield United. He was at the club before before I started the save so that is a real life loan that's taken place um, Lewis Maloney is in uh, Kieran Glynn is in Simon Heslop is in uh, James Cadman and Zayn Mohammed. Uh, don't need to do that I don't need to do centre right because it's the same attacking uh, sorry left wing we've got Ayari uh, Daniel Bramall who's a 24 year old winger We've got Tom uh, Dante, uh, uh, Brad Plant, alongside the venerable Mark, Michael Coulson, who's always been at the club, uh, or has been at the club a long time. And then up from we've got uh, Michael Coulson, who can also play there. We've got Jake Charles. We've got Sam Jones, who I brought in, and Jamie Thomas. So that's the um, an outlook of the squad at the moment. Um, in the development centre, uh, we have a couple of young players coming through. Um, obviously, when we use the editor on this same, that will be a, a little bit easier to get players up to Vanarama National North Standard. But as you can see, for the first time... Uh, in FM, Scarborough Athletic are given an under 19 sat under 18 and an under 21 side by default um, uh, for their youth candidates to go into. Um, in the under sorry, in the under 18 side. Oops, that should move back down again. Otherwise, that doesn't make sense. Dev center. No, I want dev center above, please. All right, I'll do it that way then. That's better. It's back to normal now, right? So, in the um, under 18 squad, we have a number of options here, as you can see. Dion Gordon, Ryan Hardy, Robbie Comley, Sanchez Smithwaite. Thomas Bevan, Ian Broad, Jonas Vestring, Jack Wiley and Abdul Samura. All players that have youth contracts at the club. Now I am going to show one game in this episode. Just to whet people's appetite. As to what's going to come throughout this same. And the match we're going to see tonight is against uh, Alfreton Town. And that's the side I'm going to go out with. I'm going to go with the default side and we'll see how they get on. So we've got a starting lineup of French, Jackson, Burton, Thor Thornton, Gooder. Uh, right back, Glynn in midfield alongside Tia. We've got Bramwell playing as an in inverted winger. We've got Jones playing as an advanced playmaker. And we've got Charles and Coulson playing as, as target forwards. Uh, let's see how they get on in the first and the only game to be shown in this episode. in this uh, preliminary episode uh, just re just a reminder um the series will kick off pro proper tomorrow with the 
release of the editor. This is a, uh, ro a Road to Champions League Glory Series, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, will be a Vanarama National North to UEFA Champions League save, plus a uh, FIFA Club World Cup save as well. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. It doesn't matter what happens tonight, given I'm in such a strong position that I am not going to be sat in the club before tomorrow which is exactly what I wanted to be the position I wanted to be in given the state we were in first opportunity for Scarborough and they take it whose goal was it it was Michael Coulson his shot took a deflection but we lead Alfredton Town by a goal to nil and what a start this is to the same, ladies and gentlemen. It's half time. But, uh, I'll just try and find the right screen so I know exactly where this is at the moment because it's not telling me so i need to see the right screen it's not my stats i need to see another screen it's 2-0 scarra athletic and it's daniel brammel with his uh, second goal of the season, I believe. Oh, I am trying to change the. It's 3 0 Scarborough Athletic. Michael Colston with his second goal of the game. And uh, I'm not having to do much, la ladies and gentlemen, to get this to work, but uh, I'll have to do it off this. It's not having it at the moment. I want to see... No, I want to see match overview. Can I not see that? finished 4-0 uh, as it was as I realized it was that short ladies and gentlemen it won't be the only game I show in this episode but it just proves how effective we are we are in third position in the league on 27 points from 15 games um, our confidence position with the supporters will be interesting to have a look at to see where we are because that's brand new to the game not only do you get so-called actionable objectives uh, uh, that uh, we have here which is record a Vanarama National North Top half finish be competitive uh, in the FA Cup uh, they wanted us to stay in the wage budget. We'll we'll sort that out in a minute. We'll have a look at the board profile as well because I think that's new. Um, yeah, that's new. Oh, it even shows you what requests I've had. So I had a re I had a request uh, turned down to increase the wage budget available um, by Trevor Bolt. 
the board are currently delighted though, uh, presumably because um, uh, we're, we're performing above expectation uh, for the season. We're over wage budget, which is not what the board wanted, uh, but uh, by £400. But uh, because we're performing so well, the board aren't appearing to be bothered at least. Uh, as far as supporters are concerned, because they're new in this version of the game, you have to rely on the supporters being happy as well. And the supporters are imp impressed with how this club is performing at the moment. Uh, giving me an A-, minus, uh, making it very unlikely that I'm going to be sacked at current state. Now with only twenty, uh, with only twenty-four minutes of, uh, twenty-two minutes of playtime before, uh, before the editor comes out tomorrow, uh, I wouldn't expect to be sacked between now and then. So that's what I'm looking for, um, and I know I'm going to stay in job, which uh, makes certain that the. The save is going to be a one club save and it's going to be the main save here on YouTube for this game this year. Now normally I would have two or three saves uh, in a football manager calendar year but because this has been available uh, to play from the start of the year we're going to make this the uh, main save here on uh DLD Productions PC for uh, FM23. So let me just deal with this um, contract that needs to be seen to. Uh, obviously, at the moment, because we're not into the football league, we'll have to start offering. We'll have to start by offering non-contract terms at the moment. But. That'll do for now. Uh, next ge second game of the episode, we t take on Spennymoor Town. Uh, away, sorry, at home at the uh, Flamingo Land Stadium. Bly, Bly have made a render off uh, offer for so one of the keepers I went in for before getting hold of Sam French. We've also got Lewington as well, which I might be able to do also in this episode, depending on how long this takes. Uh, yeah, I agree with those. Uh, let's get the strongest side out that we can. Give ourselves a chance to win yet again. I think th the good idea of us playing balance is actually working. Um, and we're actually getting stuff done and we're actually doing pretty well in the league we can probably lose a couple of games now and still get away with it because we've had such a good start to the season and of course we'll be looking to win as much as possible By the equalising Kettering. Hard time, it's Scarborough Athletic nil. Spending more town nil. Not much going on at the. We need to be better than that. Far too sloppy. See if we need to make changes if things aren't. Yeah. Far too sloppy. Michael Coulson wants to come off, so we'll do that. Oh, 
Well, that's not sticking well. Eight minutes to go. Spending more time to have the lead later on. It was Preston with the go with the goal for spending more time. That wasn't in the script. And we need a response. I don't think we're gonna get one though. That was disappointing. Uh Jordan Preston getting the only goal for spending more there. And that was very disappointing. We'll be looking for a response there. That wasn't wasn't good enough. It was very disappointing. So that drops us down to fourth. We are still inside of the playoffs, despite that. A uh, very disappointing result, and we move on to the game against Leamington, uh, which, with it being the third game, third game of the episode, will probably be the final one because I want to check if this is working correctly. It's another five days until we get there. Sonny Graham. Hmm. I don't think so. I think we'll wait before we bring anybody else in. Cause I want to bring. I want to bring in players that are gonna make a difference to Scarra. I think not just bring any old players in. Scarborough Lake still fourth, which is where they are currently in real life at the moment. Exactly, so am I, mate. You're not the only one who's extremely disappointed with that result. Extremely disappointed. Right. We need to see better than that. Elections apparently on the horizon for Scarborough Athletic. Right. But this will be an interesting game this this is against Lewington who are 17th and we should be able to beat these uh, real if we are to have any chance of realistically going up in the first season but we need to perform better than what we did last time against Spennymore in fact Let's show a few more highlights of this game to make sure that it's the last one in the episode. See, a few more highlights. Uh, this is fine. Any extended would be fine. In this instance, Just drop it down a bit. 14 gone. And Turner is giving Levington the lead. It's going to go extended. Oh dear, we are getting... 
absolutely not performing at the moment is Kelly Evans. And that could have gone in as well. That's two games we have performed pretty badly at the moment. It's French. We've got to get got to get back to the normal standard that we've been seeing quite a lot of. I have it. There's it away. And only again. Coulson. Bravo. Puts it wide. Good chance that for Scarra. I think it would have been offside anyway. Gooder clears it away. That was a problem. Right. I need to reduce the camera zoom. But the camera is correct. Sorry. Uh, is it that way? I need to do it. And that way. I assume, I assume that's the way I need to do it. To see what I'm looking for. It's half time, it's living to one, Scarab Athletic nil. Better than this, show me something else in the second half. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, that's better. You can see a bit more of it now. Levington start in the second half, it goes to French. Jackson. Maloney, that was Lewis Maloney there, but his shot was a bit weak and was easily saved by the keeper. Harry Coulson. Don't want to rely on Michael Coulson for all our goals. So, I would like to see some sort of improvement from one or two players. Here's Bramall. Good play from him, but he couldn't hold the ball. Here's Meredith. Goes to Street. Turner, Kelly Evans, Turner again, Dan Turner already scored once today and should have scored again, but well saved by Sam French. Kelly Evans, Walker. Not able to create any chances so far now we need something in the last 20 minutes you would argue here's Jones the second only the second real opportunity we've had throughout the game so far as I'm probably gonna look at taking Coulson off and bringing on another option up front in Jake Charles it's Oh, that should have been two. Big miss there. Not frightened to say exactly what we think there. That should have been two. Game over. But it wasn't. And, uh... But that looks like it's going to be three defeats on the bounce. And... But all of them have been close. Realistically, but there's still defeats, and that's how this series is going to start, ladies and gentlemen. One win and three defeats from the four games played in this first episode. Uh, we're lucky we're in the position we are heading into uh, tomorrow when we can get hold of the editor, but. Uh, we are still in the playoffs. I don't know how, because given that we've lost three of the last three league games, all right, they've been tight affairs, all of them, 
but we've still lost them and we need to come back at the start of the next episode when we take on uh, I can't see because it doesn't uh, tell you can't see uh, it'll be Kingsland Town fifth against first so we'll be taking on the leaders in the first game of tomorrow's episode but that's going to do it for this first one, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you're uh, looking forward to this save, because I sure am. But that's going to bring this episode to an end, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, thank you for your support, and thanks for watching.